My name is Chad Lovell. I'm Operations and Safety Specialist for Jones Lang LaSalle on the State of Tennessee account. Citizens Plaza was constructed in 1984. It's a state office building, primarily of state agencies. It's 15 stories, 276,000 square feet. Uh, when fully populated, anywhere from 800 to 1,200 occupants. We get chilled water and steam from Constellation Energy, which is a central plant on the Cumberland River. They provide chill water and steam to about 42 buildings in downtown Nashville. The so Citizens Plaza experienced high utility thermal inefficiency charges from the district energy, low delta T, over pumping. Basically, we were pushing water too fast through the building. We didn't have time to completely get a good thermal transfer. Initially, I think we saw anywhere from four to six to eight degree delta T. The contract number for that site is 14 and a half degrees. So meaning anything that we would send back below that 14 and a half degree contracted number, we were paying thermal inefficiency charge. And in some months prior to us taking over the contract, we saw that there were thermal inefficiency charges that exceeded 12 to 13,000 in a month for that building. We needed a Delta T strategy. We needed a better comfort cooling. We needed to roll our sleeves up to find out what, you know, what our solution could be. I went to a Belimo seminar. I met Kevin. He presented a lot of different products to us that day. And the one that caught my eye the most was the energy valve. And so after the seminar, I approached Kevin, told him about my situation, and he scheduled a meeting the very next week. On our first visit with Chad to Citizens Plaza, we really just verified what we already knew, which was a standard Class A office building, downtown Nashville, air handlers on each floor, and in classic design, oversized air handler, oversized glow valve, and oversized coils, which made it a perfect candidate for an energy valve as the solution because we had all their original drawings. We were able to look through there and know that we were going to be able to lower their chilled water usage, optimize the current coils and air handlers, which would help eventually optimize the Delta T. Chad recognized that the energy valve might be the solution to his low Delta T issues. Then he decided that a pilot project was the next step. We tried the pilot and installed the three energy valves at Citizens Plaza, one on the higher floors, one in the middle, and one in the lower. And what we saw immediately, just from putting three valves in, is that our delta T was more manageable. Immediately we saw flows were reduced dramatically and delta T's went up. Exactly what we knew would happen based off the initial meeting and exactly what the client, Citizens Plaza, wanted to see. From that, we were able to calculate savings for the entire building based on changing all of the air handlers out with these valves. 27% of the time, the logic kicked in on the valve and said, hey, I'm gonna overflow unless something happens. So 27% of the time, this one did. If you looked at the savings right down here, um, the projected flow rate through the valve, if the technology was not enabled, would have been 37-ish gallons a minute, producing 446,000. But because of the technology, the actual was only 160. So actually saved 279,660 gallons of water. The proof of concept was a major success. It exceeded my expectations. We went on in 2015 and did the full building. We retrofit all of the old inefficient valves in the building and replace it with brand new Belimo energy valves which allows us to solve the low Delta T syndrome for the entire building and reduce their overall energy costs. In the course of that project, we saved 49% in chill water pumping, about 23,000 a year in total chill water savings, pumping savings, and even steam reduction due to the valves. It was a very successful project. It paid back in about 2.4 years. To bring that back to my boss, it made her look good, it made me look good, it made our entire team look good. It made JLL look good within the state. She even nominated me for some awards within the company, so that felt really good too. Our next step was the Andrew Jackson project. We installed 32 energy valves throughout that facility in February. 10 months later, our savings was over 120,000. It was very exciting and felt really good to get the confirmation from District Energy and tell their technician when they were coming to check on a problem that there was really not a problem, that the building was performing like they've never seen before and now they're really singing our praises about that. It makes us feel really good, excited, proud, all those things. 
With the energy valve, we have savings that we can see. 